uh, infrastructure starts uh, at the state and local government level. And um, on the ballot yesterday nationwide, there were $45 billion worth of initiatives for infrastructure projects. Uh, the vast majority of those were, improved, were approved. Mm-hmm. So, so that's, a, that is, that's a good sign, particularly since the voters are nationwide experiencing COVID. And, and so there's been a lot of stresses on, on municipalities themselves. In Congress, the issue is going to be, will there be an infrastructure package going forward with the Senate and whether um, uh, Biden is the president or Trump continues to be the president? I think the issue is that there'll be some level of support. Uh, Already, um, Senator McConnell has indicated that he intends to have some level of stimulus. And whenever the election finally calms down, uh, one way or the other, I think there'll be some level of stimulus that goes to address some of the stresses that are at the state and local level. You know, I think when we talked last time and, and we talked with some members of your team, I mean, just this whole idea of, you know, this is one of those issues, it, it, just generally speaking, infrastructure, everyone agrees that there needs to be the spe- you know, spending happening, and it's it's whether you're red or blue politically, and yet it just takes so much to get it done. It just feels like when it comes to pulling the lever, people just don't do it. You know, uh, it's funny. There's, there's two. You have to think about infrastructure at two levels. Uh, at the federal level, so if you think I-95, really, mm-hmm. really big projects like that, that's done at, at the federal level. And and I think that, that that's where um, Congress needs to sort of step in right. and, 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 and provide support. But, you know, when you look around at wherever you live, um, cities or states or small localities, you know, infrastructure is done at the state and local level. You vote on a new school uh, that's mm-hmm. going to be built. You approve a new water treatment plant in your in your neighborhood, and those are paid from your taxes. So the, that that essence of granular public finance or infrastructure financing is done by the cities and states and counties that you live in. And and that's why when I point out the forty five billion dollars worth of voter right. initiatives, for example, California approved a seven. Right billion dollar program for for improving their schools.